welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you how I style my china cabinet in my dining room and also how I am preparing for my Faza celebration dinner. So stay tuned and also for those of you who are not familiar with um, Kwanzaa, it's a cultural holiday that begins the day after Christmas and runs through New Year's Day. Stay tuned. I wanted a clean uniform look in my china cabinet so I chose to go with white dishes and a few gold pieces along with glassware. Here I have white serving dishes trimmed in gold and underneath I have gold chargers. On this shelf I have a white serving dish, salt and pepper shakers, and tea bag holders. On the top shelf, I have my teacups and saucers. Right bottom side, I have gold chargers with wine glasses that are trimmed in gold. On this shelf, I have two bowls and behind them, a white pumpkin. On this side of my china cabinet, at the bottom, I have more glasses and more mini gold chargers. Just as I have on the right side, I have on the left side my white dishes. On the top shelf on the left, I have more bowls and a white gravy dish as well. Okay, I think I'm pretty pleased with the way everything turned out overall. I have a lo lot of color already in my dining room, so I didn't think I really need to have a lot of colorful pieces inside my china cabinet. The celebration will be starting soon, and I'm trying to take this before the noise begins. Why? So, just wait a minute. So, people will be arriving soon, and I'm going to just say, see you in a minute. Okay, this is my Kwanzaa setup, and I didn't out go out and purchase anything, with the exception of the food that was served. And I'll show you the food toward the end of the video. We had baked spaghetti, we had salad, fruit, cake for dessert, and we had some garlic bread and lemon and strawberry lemonade made with real lemons and real strawberries. So it's a pretty basic menu, but and also water if anybody wanted water. We did have some water on hand. This is the uni Unity Cup that you're looking at right now. And you see my African fabric, my mat. I can go into more about the details of Kwanzaa. For those of you who are interested, let me know. I can do a separate video talking about the principles or um, next year I, I probably will include more information about it. But I try to keep it as natural as possible and as cost effective as possible because Kwanzaa is not really about spending money. It's about spending time with your family and your friends and focusing on those principles and working toward achieving um, your goals as it relates to the principles. Now this principle is Nia, purpose, and we all should have a purpose in our life. So it also kind of reminds you of what you know you, you should be working toward. And because it's at the beginning of the year, most people are kind of motivated to make some changes in their lives. So I thought having a celebration on this day, which is Imani Faith, would be appropriate. I had a small gathering this year. Last year I had a larger gathering, but I chose that. I chose to have a small intimate dinner, mostly just family. And we had one, one of my daughter's friends came, but it was mostly just us, my children, my grandchildren, um, my husband and I. So we kept it really small and simple, but it was very enjoyable.
since the dinner we kept it really basic and really simple nothing fancy um, as you can see and um, we had strawberry lemonade fruit we also had um, as I stated earlier in the video in this video we had baked spaghetti um, garlic bread tossed salad and cake for dessert well that's a wrap if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and check out my previous videos. Happy New Year and Happy Kwanzaa!